I grew up in an age of very virulent anti-Semitism. I didn't deny my Judaism, but I wasn't happy about being Jewish. What changed me was knowing what Hitler did to the Jews. I couldn't live with myself if I didn't do this. It was desperation time in Palestine, and I said, look, I know there's going to be a war there, and I'm a fighter pilot, and I want to go there. The 1948 war was the most significant of the Israeli-Arab wars. It was a matter of life and death. I was going to help the Jews out. I was going to help my people out. We landed at Natal, Brazil. Got to Casablanca, Rome. We had the run of the town. We weren't looking for trouble, but we were always looking for action. We were young, good-looking, had hair. We had a lot of testosterone, and we didn't want to waste it. The airplane just sunk like this. We were flying wild, tough cocktail. I knew that's it. You're going to die. You want to stop us, shoot us down. I knew what had happened to other down pilots, and I wasn't going to be taken prisoner. I said to the guys, we will never surrender. There will not be another Holocaust. Maybe God spared us in World War II so that we could help the remnants of our people survive. I was born to be here on that moment of history.